The Lisp Speaker component works in a very, very similar way to the already existing Lisp Speaker. We actually recommend to turn off the scrollable property in the screen because the list view can also be scrollable. So if both the list view and the screen are scrollable, there might be some conflicts. To add elements to the list view, you can use the elements from a stream property and you can put, for instance, one comma two comma three and you will see the elements pop up in the list view and also in the form. You could also use a filter bar just like in the list picker. I'm going to add a label so that we can see how to work with the with the list view. And you will see that it's very, very simple. The list view has an after picking event, and it's it is here that you can access the data that was selected in the in the list view. So let's see, let's set the text of the label to the list view selection. Let's see the selection in here. So now if I use my phone and I click on one, you will see one, two, and uh, three. In the list view, you can also access the selected index for the particular item that was clicked, clicked on the view. So we could do something like um, a join with an additional string, and we can place, for instance, the the selection index and the selection and some kind of separator for instance a column and now when I click on my phone you will see the index plus the element 2 and 3 